So you say that writers don't spend enough time making sure that the idea that they're sort of putting out there is viable. Wouldn't you, you think that most writers are choosing an idea that's very personal to them in some sense, even if it's the story's not really about them, it's a core idea that affects them. Why wouldn't it translate if it's so personal and deep and rich to that writer? Wouldn't putting something so sort of deep and personal that the writer is choosing to focus on be enough to make the script viable? Well, that's a great question. First, let me say when I talk about writers, I'm talking about myself too because I'm a writer and that's still the main thing I do and I make these things that I might call mistakes. So it's not me on high saying, oh, those writers, what idiots they are. It's me saying we all naturally do this stuff. I just want to make that clear to, to your audience. Sure. Um, but that's a great question and, and I've made, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a mistake, but I've done this myself many times, which is write something that is personal to me that I think I felt something deeply about so audiences will too. And one, off, you know, one hopes they can pull that off. And there are some pitfalls in that approach that often happen, um, one of them being that we so internalize what we went through, what we were thinking and feeling and why it mattered so much to us in our life to put it actually on the page in a way that audiences looking at a character based on us, having experiences based on ours, for the audience to get those things that are internal to us is harder than it looks. And often just because we felt it deeply doesn't mean that we can write a character feeling that same thing deeply and the audience will get it. Sometimes they will, sometimes those are the best movies, but a lot of times they won't. And a lot of times that thing that we went through in our personal life that mattered so much to us doesn't necessarily have the ingredients of an entertaining to watch story for an audience, like a movie or television audience, a story that builds and complicates and gets worse in a really fun to watch way. Often when we're writing real life, and this is any kind of true story, and I've worked a lot on true stories and people come to me a lot with true stories because I worked on Band of Brothers, for instance, it's, it's kind of where I got my start professionally. Um, what I've really learned is that true stories are sometimes harder than fiction because you, um, real life doesn't have story structure, typically. Real life doesn't have the things that we writers have learned that audiences need to be really emotionally invested and entertained and to stay emotionally invested and entertained over the course of an hour, half hour, or two hours. It just doesn't and writers have to bring a lot of manipulation to a true story to make it comprehensible to an audience and to make it be that kind of emotional journey with that kind of classic narrative build to it and entertainment value to it. It just doesn't come naturally. We have to kind of impose it. So a lot of times the things we've gone in our own life, we don't have perspective on them. We can't see them from that third party person that has a very different life from us and how do we portrayed on the page or on screen in a way that they will be really entertained and invested in this character like us. And often we aren't able to write that character with enough perspective and enough clarity so that people will get what they're going through because to us it's already so obvious. It's like a given. It's inside of our head, but getting it outside of our head and onto the page in a way that others will really get it, I think is harder than it looks. And so when you're identifying an idea for a story, coming from a place that is something passionate to you or that you have experienced I think is a good start but it's usually not enough. You usually have to sort of test it by putting yourself in the shoes of a sort of third party anonymous viewer with a different life story than yours. How do you make this something that's, that's universal? Because our own pain and our own drama and our own situations don't necessarily have deep and compelling universally relatable elements to them that anyone or millions of people would be able to instantly grasp and be emotionally invested. I use that term a lot, emotional investment, because to me that's the key thing we're always going for. And as an audience, that's the key thing we want. We want to care. And a lot of this focus on the idea is about finding an idea that people, you know, people, strangers, millions of strangers will have a chance of really caring about this idea, caring about this character, these characters in this situation. What makes them care? And so these seven elements, a lot of it is about me trying to put into words, here are the qualities that I think are inherent in stories that can make an audience care. And when it's coming from our own life experience, a lot of times some of those elements could be missing and we may not realize it.